Torch Dagger Nation, Martin Chuck here, and I want to help you hit your irons just more crisply and get better ball speed and better distance. So when you look at what I've got on the ground here, I've got this T-square. My feet stand in one quadrant, left foot, right foot. The golf ball is kind of splitting a quadrant. Well, this is the impact quadrant. This is where the bottom of your swing goes. So, you know, we've had such great golf on TV lately. You know, the, the Canadian Open, Roy McIlroy, the U.S. Open, Matt Fitzpatrick, the Travelers Championship, etc. Right in the meat and potatoes of a great summer golf season. Now, when you see a tour player hit a crispy shot, watch where this low point is. Watch where the low point of my swing is and how we're going to develop that. I want to show you about the donut, ever, ever so important. So, watching the swing. So there's a nice crispy strike. I wish I hit it like that all the time, it's perfect. So there is a little disruption of the turf. The golf ball was actually behind that little disruption. The lowest part of my swing was into that divot a little. I didn't try to hit down, I got myself, I took the circle of my swing and got it in the correct place. You see, when you look at this little video, take a look at this video to my right. The video shows Roy McIlroy's backswing. You can see that it's got some width to it. It's really, really important. And then watch how evident it is that his head stays pretty still, but his pelvis moves and relocates onto his lead side. So this is a really, really big deal. The relocation of the pelvis toward the lead foot while the head stays somewhat centered. We don't want both things to get on top of the golf ball. That causes problems. Kind of a steady head's a big deal. It can have some motion. This little button on the top of your hat's called a squatchy. I like the squatchy to stay relatively still, but there's some dynamics to it in that there's a step to get things going and then this little relocation. You can see where my hip has gone quite a bit forward while my head stayed pretty still while I hit the golf ball. And I'm not trying to keep my head down, people. I'm trying to just stay centered, get into that impact condition, and let the energy of my golf swing kind of carry on. So let's take a little page out of Rory's awesome swing. Get yourself set up. Understand that we're not really hitting down on the golf ball. We're getting our down in a correct place so we know where the bottom of our swing is. And in doing so, we can gather up the golf ball quite nicely. Let's hit one more here. And that sound and feel is what I hope you guys enjoy. Understanding those little pieces. Backswing, nice crisp turn away. None of this booty bumping right and left. We're not at a dance. We're rotating, we're relocating, and we can touch the golf ball, brush the grass, and enjoy some great strikes.